And now we segue to the confirmation hearing for Korea's Prime Minister nominee. Hwang kyo won was the center of attention at the National Assembly today. Park ji won tells us more about the questions thrown his way. Lawmakers from the Assembly's Special Committee on Confirmation Hearings are questioning the Prime Minister nominee on a number of issues and allegations. The 58-year-old former chief prosecutor and current justice minister was tapped for the nation's second highest position by President Park Geun-hye late last month after former Prime Minister Lee Wan-gu resigned from the post due to a high-profile bribery scandal. The ruling Senate Party focused on Huang's qualifications and the policy directions he'd pursue after becoming Prime Minister. Why do you think President Park geun has appointed you, current Justice Minister, to be the Prime Minister? Although I cannot fully infer the President's motive, I believe she appointed me to be the center of the government's effort to revive the sluggish economy and stabilize the livelihoods of the people. However, lawmakers from opposition parties are digging into a series of allegations, including a hefty paycheck that Huang earned at a major law firm. Since retiring from his previous career as the nation's chief prosecutor, the firm paid him about 1.5 million U.S. dollars over 17 months. But many question his role there, as he had now reportedly dealt with many cases. Have you ever wielded unfair influence in trials? Have you ever accepted a doubtful case? I made considerable effort not to wield any influence and abstain from taking such cases. The committee also grilled Huang on allegations of draft dodging and his previous career as prosecutor specializing in national security law. Regarding the military service, Huang said he's always felt indebted to the public, but he was exempt from the mandatory service due to a skin disease. Huang said he would resign from his current justice minister post if he fails to pass the grueling confirmation hearing process. The hearing will conclude on Wednesday. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.